Okay guys, I haven't made a video in a long time, but um, I'm making one right now, so let's go. Cool. Um, today I'm going to give you a Japanese study tip. So, if you're struggling with vocabulary, especially vocabulary around the room or the house, this would probably be a good and I think useful uh, thing you can do to help you memorize um, words around the house. All you need are index cards. I don't have index cards, so this is a folded piece of paper and a pen. And uh, maybe a dictionary if you have more objects or if you need to look up objects, um, words for those objects. Some of you are probably watching right now and you're probably thinking, oh, this is a cool idea, I'm totally gonna do this um, when I have some time. And you're not gonna do it, you're gonna forget. So right now, go and get um, a flashcard, like pause this video right now, go get flashcards, go get a pen, go get something, and just follow my exact instructions. I'm gonna wait for you to pause the video. Okay, so you should be back with flashcard right now. But, um, okay, so take your flashcard and write on one side, only in Japanese. And if you know hiragana and katakana, great, use that, please. If you know kanji and you know some of the kanji for these words, or if you look up a word in a dictionary um, and you see kanji for it, use the kanji for it, that'll really help you. Um, if you know hiragana and katakana, I suggest writing the kanji and then the furigana, the, uh, the way to read it in hiragana under or just over the kanji in little small characters. Label things around your room and around your house in Japanese and only Japanese on only one side. Um, so like bed, bed would be so bed, small tsu, do. Bed -do. I don't know if you can read that. Bed -do. And then take, actually you do need one more thing, take, get tape. And just tape the flashcard onto the thing it's representing. So every time you look at that thing and you see the Japanese character there and the way to read it, uh, you know what it is in Japanese. Okay? I did this um, when I moved into my old house. Like when my family moved to my old house, I did this. I labeled my bed, I put one on my pillow, my balcony, my window, my uh, mirror, my bathroom, my closet door, the doors, my desk, I labeled my whiteboard, my piano, my uh, nightstand, uh, bathroom, bathtub, floor, you got uh, ceiling, fan, I, all that stuff. So take, now take every word that I just said, look it up in a dictionary, find the kanji, find the reading for it, make sure it's a good dictionary. Like I, I think I mentioned, tangorin.com, use that one, because it will show you which words are common. It has like a little common um, tag next to each word, so use that. And uh, go ahead and do it. If you haven't started right now, I'm going to get you, okay? Because people who are watching this, you're probably like me, like I say, oh, I'm going to start something. I never do. So right now, go label the crap out of your room with Japanese. Yeah! Okay, that's all I have. <laughs>